we're back with Community Roundup. Immigration Voice is a national non-profit organization that has been working to alleviate the problems faced by legal high school future Americans in the United States. Recently, Immigration Voice held their advocacy event in Washington, D.C. <music> Acting as an interface between the set of immigrants and the legislative and executive branches of the government, Immigration Voice has members including prominent lawyers and constitutional experts that provide resources in solving the problems in the employment-based green card processes. During the advocacy event, members of the Immigration Voice advocated for the HR 213 bill. The bill will help in eliminating the per-country numerical limitation for employment-based immigrants, increases the per-country numerical limitation for family-based immigrants from 7% to 15% of the total number of family-sponsored visas. When people are waiting in green card backlogs, as you may have, uh, as you would imagine, folks are waiting, uh, first of all, this long wait, uh, which spans out multiple decades. And while folks, while people are waiting in for the green cards, uh, you know, the primary applicant and their families, they are, are not able to live up to their full potential. What that means is primary applicants are unable to change jobs or start companies. That hurts them. You see, imagine high scale immigrants being brought into the United States from across the world and uh, unknowingly they get into an environment or a situation in the United States where they don't know when coming in that they'll be unable to change jobs or unable to start their companies or for that matter unable to live a free life as one would imagine while coming in. So, uh, so that's that's the key. Of course, uh, the as in byproduct of uh, this uh, backlog, uh, spouses are unable to work, children are unable to get scholarships that they are otherwise offered by universities, and because they are still considered as international students. So overall, you know, there are multiple uh, quality of life issues that that uh, families go through. We expect that we, we calculate that and we estimate that there are around one in five Indian American in the United States who are waiting in these green card backlogs. So this issue affects the Indian American community more than any other issue. So what is happening here is basically high skilled immigrants, uh, mostly Indians from across the country, have converged in Washington D.C. for this three-day event. Um, you know, we have folks from Colorado, from uh, California, someone from Hawaii, um, and and so people have really come from all 50 states, and they've they've gathered here uh, to petition Congress uh, for legislation for helping out high skilled immigrants who are stuck in green card backlogs. There is there are many many bills in the in the in the process of being considered in the House side and the Senate side. But the most important bill that we believe is going to have a most consequential effect in the short term and the long term is something called uh, removal of per country limits, whereby uh, people from specific countries get the same amount of green cards as smaller countries. Countries like India and China, uh, we get uh, around the same number of green cards every year as countries like Iceland and Barbados with a population close to half a million people each. And that doesn't sound right because uh, in countries like India and China, there are a lot many immigrants who come from these countries. Not only that, these countries have more to offer. So we believe that uh, when most people or a lot of people come from uh, large, uh, these large countries and then they come over here unknowingly, uh, they get stuck in this long green card backlog. That doesn't good for, for the US economy, uh, society as a whole and the immigrants and the US workers. So what we have been able to do is attract more attention to this issue, create more awareness of how this plays out and affects the US worker and the economy and entrepreneurship overall. Uh, we believe that we are close to a legislative victory this year and uh, we are reaching out to every corner of our community uh, requesting them to support our effort. The only bill that has the ability to pass and that can be passed is HR 213 which is introduced on the House side by Congressman Chaffetz and we had several meetings today on the House side and the Senate side and we are hearing a lot about good things about this particular bill and a lot of good support from different offices. Uh, I strongly believe that this bill is a very potential bill that can passed in 2015 and can become a law which is going to help a lot of immigrants in this country who have come here legally and can adjust their status. Hi, my name is Sham. I'm a member of uh, Immigration Voice. Uh, this is my first advocacy event and it was very exciting. 
Uh, it's an extraordinary experience. You get a chance to talk to the stakeholders who are really crafting the bills and uh, it was a very important event. I'm Kutaki Desai. Uh, I come from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. This is my first time for the Immigration Voice Advocacy event and uh, what a learning experience it's been to be in a country where as a common citizen, uh, as a common person, I actually know that my voice can be heard by people in the Senate and people in the House is just an incredible experience. में आप सबका हार्दिक अभिनंदन है मैं हूं विकास नांगिया आज रविवार 15 फरवरी है आइए जाने आज के अंक में क्या कुछ है खास ग्रीन कार्ड बैकलॉग्स की ओर लॉमेकर्स को जागरूक करने के उद्देश्य से इमिग्रेशन वॉइस ने वॉशिंगटन डीसी में एडवोकेसी मीट का आयोजन किया वेलकम बैक आप देख रहे हैं कम्युनिटी रानप और मैं हूं विकास नांगिया अमेरिका में पांच में से हर एक प्रवासी भारतीय ग्रीन कार्ड बैकलॉग्स की समस्या की वजह से ढेरों चुनौतियों का सामना कर रहा है इस मुद्दे पर पिछले कई सालों से लॉ मेकर्स और आम जनता को जागरूक कर रही है संस्था इमिग्रेशन वॉइस 9 और 10 फरवरी को इमिग्रेशन वॉइस ने वॉशिंगटन डीसी में विशेष एडवोकेसी मीट का आयोजन किया जिसमें विभिन्न राज्यों से हाईली क्वालिफाइड प्रोफेशनल शामिल हुए अपने पिछले अंक में हमने आपको इस एडवोकेसी मीट की झलकियां दिखलाई थी आइए जाने और क्या कुछ महत्वपूर्ण रहा इस दौरान Hi my name is Vikram Desai I am uh, with Immigration Voice uh, we are a, a non profit national organization focused on advocating for rights for high skill immigrants we've passed uh, we've spent the past two days uh, with meetings in the house and the senate over 400 meetings to basically advocate for rights to clear green card backlogs today is a very exciting day for us we have been invited by the white house uh, um, to have a, a round table discussion and discuss all the issues that are being faced by high skill immigrants in november 2014 the president sign an executive order uh, which will bring some temporary relief to high school immigrants and we are here to discuss uh, the next steps and how quickly can those uh, uh, made actionable so all of us can benefit from it america ke vibhinn rajyon se ek jut ho ek aawaz ek mudda hr 213 fairness for high skilled immigrants act of 2015 is naye bill ki or lawmakers ko jagruk karne unka samarthan jutane ke prayas mein immigration voice sanstha ne advocacy meet ka aayojan kiya तीन दिन चली बैठक में इमिग्रेशन वॉइस वॉलंटियर्स और बोर्ड मेंबर्स ने कैपिटल हिल में 350 से अधिक मीटिंग्स की Where you actually continue to go out and petition the government, not give up, persevere the hardship that it takes to petition the government, and uh, still cohere to and stick together. Because often times when it becomes difficult, it is difficult to stick together. And one, it's very easy to sh- jump the ship, try to finger point on each other and say, "Well, I'm this category, and somebody else is getting ahead of me." The key. part of this entire effort is if you went in there today for all the things that we have seen online on different discussion forums or you might have had discussions with you know or your your friends and family members on this subject you would often come across different categories and folks often times try to find dot dichotomies of how you would tend to divide yourselves amongst folks that you see are either ahead of you or or somehow different from you but the way that discussions goes on the hill the way congress actually operates and conducts its business they don't see any difference in this issue as compared to different categories so overall at the end of the day you know what is most important is no matter how much noise is out there and it will always be distracting that noise comes from folks who actually are not yet aware not that they are in, they don't have good intention but it's that they are unaware of how the debate actually unfolds on the ground where it matters So our job is to continue to educate them as well as educate members of Congress in every meeting there where we go. And so it's a as so practically what that means is as we go to Congress we actually petition them and create awareness over there. But at the same time when we go to our folks and then they ask and reach out to us for questions, we try to convince them no matter how much time and energy it takes, time after time, in sending the message that uh, overall. You know, we are in this all together. Nobody is out there. 
ग्रीन कार्ड बैकलॉग्स की वजह से हजारों हाईली स्किल प्रोफेशनल्स अपने करियर को नई ऊंचाइयों तक नहीं ले जा पा रहे अपने परिवार सहित अमेरिका में रह पाने में समर्थ नहीं हो पा रहे हर पड़ाव हर कदम पर सूझबूझ और अच्छी शिक्षा होने के बावजूद उन्हें जॉब्स को बदलने में कठिनाइयों का सामना करना पड़ता है एच आर टू वन थ्री बिल से बहुत सी उम्मीदें संजोए एडवोकेसी मीट में शामिल सभी प्रोफेशनल्स को भरोसा है कि 2015 में इमिग्रेशन रिफॉर्म अच्छे परिणाम दिखलाएगा Here I've been in the member of Immigration Voice since uh, 2005, since and I've been participating in Immigration Voice and advocacy process for last mm, six years, and this is like my fourth or fifth visit to Washington D.C. Okay. Uh, Sanjay, can you tell us a little about why you are here and how some of the work that you're doing is impacting uh, the immigration uh, issue? So I think the. Uh, impact is way beyond my work it actually i think the the reason i'm here all the way from denver to washington dc is it's, i see the problem is much beyond my work it's how our family our life our work and as a member of the society how it affects the whole system because even though we have been in this country paying taxes uh, we are complying with everything we could like the security process and everything but still just based on uh, the, my birth country i have been pushed to a different category uh, and which is delaying my getting my green card pro uh, and that is actually affecting not just my uh, um, work but also my life and my aspirations i first got um, involved with immigration voice in 2007 when uh, that whole visa bulletin fiasco happened and i went online and i wanted to figure out my own case but um then i realized that these people are doing something really great and i it was really empowering to come here and say something and come to dc go to the hill and talk to these uh, representatives and present not just my case but everyone else who's stuck and so that was really great and it just I just feel like having this organization has given us a platform to come out and uh, do something for for the entire community. I've been in the United States for 12 and a half years, originally from India, and um I have uh, a PhD degree from Texas A&M University, a master's degree from Carnegie Mellon, and uh, I'm still waiting for a green card. Thanks. And so why are you here today? Um Immigration Voice has been doing advocacy events for almost 10 years now. Uh we didn't we we'd heard about it but we didn't really participate because unless you start feeling the pain you don't really, you know, you, you're waiting on the sidelines. Uh we had some people connect with us and we felt that it was time that we did part of the policy making and uh, w uh contribute towards it and um I think that it's time that I want to, you know, do something to give back to this country that has given so much opportunity to me and uh you know just do it as one single voice